everyone thank you so much for tuning in today I'm doing a favorite video again and I didn't do this in in two months so here's another um, two months sort of thing again going on okay let's start it because I have a lot of things to talk about the first product is from Lush Aquamarina facial cleanser this is kind of a love and hate product so let me tell you the stuff that I hate about this product it smells disgusting I just I think it smells like rotten food most of the time I like Lush product because they smell great and then they're fun but this one is not. I think it's mainly the seaweed that is in there mixed together with the, all the other ingredients and it just smells bleh. Um, I explain about my skin condition that pretty much anything that I put on my skin would just burn in the last favorite video and it's still going on. Um, it's getting better I think but it's still going on and sometimes this would still burn so I wouldn't really recommend this to a very sensitive skin person. I think this is one of the mildest cleanser that you can find from Lush because other ones are very crumbly and then the texture is quite coarse I think because some of them have like raw products like lavender, like buds, and uh, some of them seem like really really crumbly. And then this one is one of the smoothest texture that I've tried. Um, this was recommended to me by the Lush person because it was made for sensitive skins and that's why I bought it. It's, it's not really one of those things that attacks my skin. Like I know that there are some products that says that it's for sensitive skin but it's like lots of lots it's got it's full of like chemicals and it terribly burns on my skin but this one has well this one has like a perfumes and stuff but it's got much less chemicals in there so I can feel a bit more confident and comfortable putting this on my skin so that's probably why I like this one if they make it in a better smell I would definitely go and um, repurchase but I don't really feel like I could go out and try something better from Lush or from a drugstore I'm pretty sure that there is something that wouldn't really irritate my skin but I can't really afford those things or it's just out of luck or something so this is so far the best cleanser that I've tried even though it Burns that I can find in Australia. And next one is also from Lush. This is Miranda soap and this one smells great. I like this smell because it's not really like girly girl like fruity scents like sickly sweet kind of smell but it's also kind of refreshing. It's not really citrusy it's more like a fruity side but um, I, th I honestly think that it smells like Angel's Delight. When I sniffed this, it just reminded me of the Angel Slide, which is a Christmas limited edition, and then it's coming, so I'm definitely going to get those soap. But, um, yeah, I think this is kind of similar, probably less sweet, I don't know, I didn't really sniff Angel Slide Delight in, like, long time, so... I don't know, but it's kind of similar. I had a um, Honey I Washed a Kid soap, and they're really, really sweet. And it feels like it's more of, like, the sort of wintry smell so I really like this for summer and waking up and then go getting into the shower and this one wakes me up better than Honey or Wash the Kids soap so I like this one better especially for the summer and the spring the next skincare product that I've been loving so much this probably would be my most favorite of two months would be those moisturizers from Daiso and Daiso is like everything there is two dollars and eighty cents so these were also two dollars and eighty cents each it's really amazing product it's um, you get a 40 grams of the product and what it looks like is kind of a jelly type of the moisturizer when I get out of the shower, first thing that I put on my face would be this. Like before even like bothering to dry my hair or like my body, it's just like I take the bath towel and just rub it around me and then I put this on straight away and I start to like dry my hair and then the body and then just come to the bedroom and then apply another um, like a proper moisturizer. So this kind of works as kind of locking in the moisture and then hi you know hydration. It's really really good and it gets absorbed to the skin really quickly. It's not really sticky. It's not really um, like it greasy or anything. It's very very nice texture and the best thing about this is that it didn't burn on my skin. I was like 
yay! It's just really, really gentle. Even though it's like full of chemicals, I don't understand. And then you can get this for like three bucks, less than three bucks, and it's amazing. Like amazing price, amazing product, and probably the bad thing is that um, you have to find Daiso around you. They have uh, two different kinds, and to me, they feel almost the same. I personally prefer this blue one a little better because it feels like, I'm not too sure, but it feels like it gives a better hydration to me. And this one is hyaluronic acid one, and this is a collagen one. I prefer this one somehow, but I, I don't really have any problem with the collagen one either, so I don't really care which one, whichever is available for me would just do. Next two products are makeup products and the first one is Maybelline Falsies Flared Mascara. I like this mascara because it gives instant volume uh, even though I wasn't really sure about the flared effect. So the brush looks like this, it kind of looks like a kind of spooned, kind of curved, not too much though, kind of curved brush from the side and it gives a really like big volume. It's like boom and that's it. Like just one coat and then you get like enough volume. So that's really good. It always feels like when I try the Maybelline mascara, it always feels like, okay, there's something better. There's always something better than these. So I think I'm just really hard on Maybelline. Sometimes I don't really like the formula or I don't like the brush. It's just never came together in Maybelline but still I love this I enjoyed using this it's not really like I will definitely come back to this but I really really enjoyed it and if you want volume and also length in one go then I would recommend this because it just gives you the volume really quickly just one coat and boom and next one is from Chi Chi it's eyeliner this is called a Choose Chi Chi Stay On Eyeliner and the color is You Sexy Thing. This is on automatic and the color is like this. It's really rich and deep brown. I really like this because first the color was perfect for me. I just wanted something that looked exactly like this so you know that's my personal preference. And then second, it stays on pretty well. It's not really perfect. Well, nothing is really perfect when it comes to eyeliner. Um, I have the eyelids that are, like, I don't know, like, too oily or it just hates eyeliner so much. Um, most of the eyeliners don't really stay on. So when I say it stays, it probably should count. Check this out if you want a cheaper, cheaper alternative for the Revlon color stay. And then the last three products are the tools, and these are brushes, and two of them are from Hagohoro, and these were in IMATS haul, so if you want to have a closer look, uh, I'll put the link below, but um, I honestly don't know which numbers they are because it doesn't really have anything except for like Hagohoro, so I'll put that information at the description bar again. But um, this bigger one is really good for like just putting a base color like really evenly on my eyelid because... It's just really big and then also I can use that as a highlighter kind of brush because I can just use it as like this way and just use it over there or around here stuff like that and then also I can just use it around here and then on my cheekbones you know anywhere it's really multi-purpose also this one is a multi-purpose kind of a brush and this is also from Hakuhoto and this is supposed to be they're both supposed to be eyeshadow brushes but I can use this smaller one for eyeliner oh yeah eyeliner or eyeshadow or concealer or even lip brush so it's very very versatile I think and it's just really nice on for packing on colors because it's flat and also um, it's not too dense but it's really nicely tapered it's just really hard to explain but when you use it and when you use a good brushes you know straight away that it's good brushes because it works great and then it's easy to use that's pretty much it. When it comes to Asian eyes, like precision is about like the key, I think. So um, you can't put like too wide, or, like too broad or too thin. It has to be the perfect amount for the eye shape. And I think this one helps me do that and you know, apply it precisely. Unlike some of the brushes like uh, really fluffy brushes or like really big brushes. Like for example, I love, don't get me wrong, I love these brushes still, but it's just quite big. And for example, like this is e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. This is quite big and fat. And 
sometimes, well, I like this for just, you know, smudging the colors and stuff. But when it comes to precision, you always need to have something small, and this is really, really good. And also, this big brush is also good for Asian eyes, because Asian eyes always have, like, a big space between eyes and eyebrows. So, these are perfect for my eyes, so I love these. The next one is a... A brush from Royal Lanico and this is Contour C120 from Silk Pro Line and what can I say it's really cheap and what it does is amazing I like to use it as a blush brush or a contour I use it as a contour as well it's just I can use it for anything and then I can even use it like a highlighter type of the brush I use it for most of the things so I really like this and as I said, when you use a good brush or when you like the brush, you just instantly like it. Like it's just easy to use and you just keep coming back to this one. And that's about it. Yeah, I use it almost like every day. So that's that's a good sign. So these are my favorites and there are some regrets that I would like to share with you really quickly. And the first two products are mascaras and one is full and soft from Maybelline. This is a waterproof version. I got this from America and when I pulled it out it was so dry and when I tried to apply it on my eyelashes it did nothing. I don't know if it's just this one or any other full and soft would be. I put some liquid to kind of revive the mascara and it worked okay but it's not really amazing. I don't know why this gets so many good reviews because it did nothing to my eyelashes so I'm like I don't understand. And the next one is Rimmel Scandal Eyes Show Off. This is the second crappiest mascara that I've ever tried. Okay, the brush looks like this. I thought that the idea of having a little ball tip would be really amazing. And also the... I um, Well, I don't really hate the rubber brush, like rubber bristle brush. So I thought I, I would give it a go. But when you look at it, it's just like mascara is not in between the bristles. So how, I honestly don't understand why this can volumize and lengthen your eyelashes because there's hardly any mascara liquid in between the bristles what what is Rimmel thinking I don't know the formula is very very dry and probably that's one of the reasons why it doesn't really go in the brush nicely and it has many like small fibers inside but it's not really small enough to look like it's fibers. It, I When I opened it up, I thought that it was real eyelashes inside there. And I was like, oh my god, this is faulty. I gotta return it. But I realized that it's a fiber thing, that fiber thing that this one should have, this mascara should have inside. Then I tried to apply on my eyelashes and it just didn't work. So, like, the, the fiber didn't stick to my eyelashes, so it didn't lengthen. It also didn't volumize because the brush doesn't really catch enough um, liquid, the mascara liquid, and I hate this packaging, it's so bulky, and this printing comes off when you rub it. It's, I, I just don't really see the whole point of this mascara, this packaging, it's like, I use it several times and I was like, ugh, really, ugh. And next two products are these um, eyeshadow bases, and one is from Japan and one is from NYX, and this the Japan one is Can Make Eyeshadow Base, and it's quite similar to the Cezanne one that I've um, reviewed about. This also, the Cezanne one was also one of my like regrets. And the consistency is very very similar. What it does is very similar. It creases horribly. Um, yeah, so I'm like, uh, it wasn't my present. It was a gift to me, but I'm sorry. I just don't really like it. I'm pretty sure there is something better than that. And next one is a NYX eyeshadow base. And this one looks ridiculously oily for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I kept using this until I make, you know, kind of little dent in there and I realized, you know what, this is not really the best thing that is worth keep using. It does make uh, the eyeshadow look more vibrant, yes, and then it probably does make the eyeshadow stick longer and last longer. Well, yeah, but it creases, so I don't want that. The last two products are the false lashes from Daiso. So if you're familiar with Daiso, you know that they have a lot of things. Not only the cosmetics, but everything. So I bought these. These are high grade transparent uh, line eyelash. And number two and four. 
and well they look really good like they are like invisible band and that's really good and some of the other kinds of the eyelashes from Daiso is good they're really good so I was expecting something good from these ones and I was wrong as I tried to pull off the eye false eyelashes from the base it just didn't move at all and then I tried to pull harder and it pulled off some of the eyelashes of the band and then I can't use it anymore. It's very very stupid so I was very disappointed. I thought it was only one of them and I was like oh that sucks. Oh well. And some other time I tried the other ones from similar line I mean like in the same line and it happened again so I think it's just how they make these lines is just really wrong. It just doesn't come off and then when you try to like pull it off with your tweezers it just rips off the eyelashes and what's the point? I mean like it just seems really really stupid so I was very very disappointed with these ones. So that's about it for the favorite and a little bit of the hate products and I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions or comments um, put them below and I'll see you in the next video.